Okay, so hello everybody. Today I'm gonna tell you about what that unconditional love is. So basically, um, the unconditional love is uh, God's love. That's the love I'm talking about in my videos. And that is the way that God loves all of us. That's the purest form of love. Um, and uh, I mean, I totally believe that we as humans are incapable of like fully 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 to the core experiencing that heavenly uh, feeling in our bodies i think that when you die you actually reconnect with that unconditional love that you came from that complete love where there's like the perfect that 100 percent and above you know that the ever expanding plus infinity and that's when you completely leave your body but still even on earth we are capable of experiencing like that love, so we're still ex capable of experiencing it. I just think that when you die, like you reconnect with it completely, you know. But basically, um, for instance, what you can experience is um, that heavenly love. Yes, you, you're able to experience it in a different way, and. Um, now, what would be my experiences with it is basically when I uh, like started healing myself more and letting go of these toxic patterns, that's when I immediately would feel like uh, I just become more present and I feel this like love and just because I feel like because we are that love actually like in our core and it's like once you let go of the, those toxic patterns, you, your natural state is love your natural state is appreciation and this gratitude and this presence it's just like it naturally comes to you once you let go of these toxic patterns and i'm saying toxic patterns like for instance being super obsessed with people um that's a toxic pattern um so you could say letting go of toxic relationships but for me it's not necessarily to letting go of particular relationships like in real life it's not like ignoring these people or something like that you know you can still talk to them they can still be around you um it's just that you let go of that toxic pattern inside and sometimes maybe it can even result in you forming a new connection with those same people like it can even sometimes result in that you know it does not necessarily mean that um it's always going to be the situation where, let's say, you, you were in a toxic situation with certain people and you, you kind of just completely like cut them off. Like, I'm not with that, you know. Uh, it's just that, like, let's say you had a bad situation with certain people, okay? With a certain person, you had a bad situation. It could be your friend, could be your romantic relationship or just your romantic interest or whatever. Like fa father, mother, sister, anything, anyone. And so it's just that like you may be experiencing some sort of like negative thoughts towards that person because like you know we're nobody's perfect and we all have good sides and bad sides and so when you're let's say talking to someone and you start noticing that well this person got a little bit like weird like I don't know and you start just like like for me that happens sometimes you know with the people that I know and it's just like I would let's say you know like them like as people in general but sometimes I would just get into this like situation where I feel like something is off like I can see that this person I don't know is this person jealous of me like or what's up but like there's just something off and um, what I do I mean of course you can go talk to them you know about this but if you feel like you don't want to or I don't know you feel like maybe it's not that important or maybe you just feel like this is something that's in you rather than maybe what's actually happening. So, like, you can just simply look at that situation in your mind with unconditional love. You know, and it's like, what happens, like, you really start to feel the power that unconditional love has. Like, it's so powerful. Like, there were, like, so many people in my life that I felt like either they were jealous of me or they were just, like, really, um competitive you know like there, there are these like there are some women for instance that are just so competitive like it's crazy and it's like they look beautiful you know they're like interesting but they're just like so competitive and it's just hard to be around these people and you know and I remember when I was like at home or like not even at home like 
all the time would think about someone. And I would, for instance, think about these women. I would be like, I can't understand what is wrong. Like, why do they act this way? You know? And it's like it seems to me like I'm not, I'm doing everything right. And and then I thought, and and then you know when I start thinking like that, then I start like having this negative energy towards them and I just like realize that when I think this way sometimes I don't like I wouldn't even understand let's say that I'm sending negative energy towards that person but it's like I'm actually sending a lot of negative energy to that towards these people and it's like I see them with a lot of negativity now the thing is I don't tell you to see people as super positive only from uh, their positive sides because no that's like not the right way it, you, don't, you don't have to justify anything but it's just like mm, taking a look at that situation with unconditional love uh, and like taking a look at that person with all that they are with unconditional love meaning that like you kind of step back back a little bit from the situation you look at them as this like child you know and it's like you feel a little bit bigger than them because you actually are in a way probably you know and 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 like how it was to me, I just looked at, at this person and, and did this to a lot of people actually. But I looked at them and I was like, I had this feeling as like, oh, they're like, they just don't know better, you know. Oh, you know, they've been for some stuff, they don't know better, they ha they've got a lot of work to do. And so I don't have to be bothered by that, you know. And, and I don't have to become bitter towards them, nor, nor do I have to be bitter right now thinking about like what they did and why are they doing this and why are they acting this way. Like you just look at them with unconditional love like oh okay well and then you can and, and when you really feel that unconditional love and, and, and what happens basically like in this situation it's like then this like let's say you see this person in front of you now because you kind of backed off and uh, you kind of see it from the third person perspective and you really see this person with all of their flaws and uh, and then it's like okay well I'm not gonna let this affect who I am I'm still gonna remain in unconditional love right now and I'm still gonna remain present and so you still feel that unconditional love and what happens then that whatever negativity was in there it just dissolves and that's when you really feel the power of unconditional love like that is so powerful and then I started doing this with all the people in my life like anytime I would just think about someone and uh, you know I would just do this and it just dissolves everything like I just suggest you try this like it's crazy like how powerful unconditional love is and even if you're like in a super 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 toxic situation well let's say you, you could be obsessed with someone um, you kind of just look at them still I mean it's harder when you're like very obsessed it's harder to do that but you know it is what it is you're like you, you gotta do it and then you just kind of look at it and you feel this unconditional love for that person and you feel like wow this person can't affect me and then you realize that nobody can hurt you no one can hurt you when you remain in unconditional love and you choose that okay regardless of whatever happened in my life right now whatever these people did or just simply happened to me I'm not gonna let that affect who I am right now and it's not just something that you say it's something that you feel it's like you still simply remain in your heart you still remain in your inner child you still remain in your unconditional love you remain there you know no matter how bad maybe hurts you just kind of just remain in there and um, you will see the power of this unconditional love um, and so uh, that is who we are at the core anyways and you will see that like you don't need anything absolutely anything from the outside you don't need it yes it is fun to play with the outside things it's fun but like you don't need them you know you don't need anything since you have unconditional love you can die and still remain you know like in heaven basically so like it's it's really the most powerful I don't even want to say thing because it's not a thing but yeah so that's that's what that unconditional love is it's this godly heavenly love that we all can tap into that's your life force energy and it's just like but also what I want for you to understand is that um, if you don't practice this like um, 
you very easily can go back into those patterns so it's kind of like a daily work like not even daily it's like you have to be focused on it all the time it's this inner work and especially in the beginning if you're like starting out um, you gotta be focused very much so then uh, later on I guess it's just kind of be more natural but also what I want for you to understand is it's not something like you are affirming yourself it's not like that it's not that you're affirming oh I am unconditional love oh I am this no 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 not like that this happens as a natural byproduct by you letting go of things like once you let go of uh, judgment like one of the main things that gets at least me out of this situation is when I start judging people like when I start judging them in my mind that's it like I get into this very negative state and I suffer of course but you know like when I notice that I'm judging I'm like oh okay I'm not gonna let this turn me into the thing that hurt me I'm gonna remain in unconditional love and you remain there and you remain there and you remain there and you always remain there and you will see how magical life is so yeah that's the, uh, the unconditional love that I'm talking about that's the God's love and that's actually God in you and also when you tap into that unconditional love you actually become like the supernova well I don't know I think it's called supernova basically the uh, white hole so and you can really feel that you becoming the white hole because um, well for me I even see it because I'm also seeing another plane of existence so I can see like things like that you know I can see the darkness and the light in people very good and I can see like shapes and stuff like that but but basically um, once you become uh, yeah like once you become that unconditional love well that's who you are but like once you tap into that once you become more present you actually become like the like the white light like the like the white hole and you will really start to feel like what does it mean to be the white hole so basically also if we're taking a look at this from metaphysical perspective or it would be that uh, basically the white hole right it's always expanding so also no one can enter it like nothing can enter the white hole that's how it is like black hole everything enters black hole but uh, white hole no one can enter it and that's when you really start to like you really start to feel that uh, when you are in an unconditional love you are the white hole and no one can hurt you no one can enter you like you really become connected to that core of who you are and you see that it's impossible for anyone to get in there because you are protecting it that's the thing it's like you gotta be protecting your peace and how you protect your peace is you don't let yourself become obsessed with anything or anyone you know and it's not that like you don't care about people it's not like that you know you definitely do care about people because you are in unconditional love so you of course do care about them and you look at them with unconditional love you know and, and this like understanding and uh, also you are it as well so you feel those same feelings for yourself and you simply just kind of like elevate your vibes and you protect your peace this way but but you become like like this you know like expansive and and so what happens is that no one can enter there's like you will really feel like that there is a part of you this like core uh, that was clogged you know and that's when you feel these negative feelings or like experiencing a lot of negativity or obsession is because you are, you let people get to you you let things get to you you let experiences get to you and that getting to you means get to your core and once you tap into that core and you now are kind of we could say you are in the driver's seat you know that anyone or anything be there and you protect it that's when you will really start feeling like wow like this just amazing like it's just like you feel like you have new powers in this world you know like nobody can hurt you honestly no one can hurt me no one can hurt you no one can hurt anyone you just gotta wake up to this